Greetings, everyone. This is a video that's kind of letting you know what is in the other three videos that I've created for my portal members. I've titled this, or rather, Thoth has titled this, The True Singularity. That's the name of the series. And I may be, I already have three parts to it, but I may be even adding more. I didn't have a title to it when I did the first part. I didn't really know where I was quite where I was going with it. After I finished the first part, I said to Thoth, well, this needs a title and I just can't come up with one because there's going to be several other parts to it and I really don't know where I'm going with it. I'm just being, you know, inwardly led to do this. And so he gave me the word singularity. A sing the singularity, as, as I talk about this briefly in the second video, I looked it up, I found out what it meant, and uh, it has to do with some kind of science fiction thing um, about how uh, we're going to progress so fast technologically that, that our future will be so remote, removed from where we are now, we can't even comprehend it. It's like we jump, we skip in the quantum leap, we, we take a jump into a singularity, a singular expression that is beyond anything we know now. But the science fiction aspect of it is really talking about, you know, technology and, and it had, throws in transhumanism and all kinds of things. Well, of course, that wasn't where Thoth was going with it when he gave me that title. So then he added the word true, the true singularity. And this addresses where we're going with planet Earth into the new Earth star, and really even before then into the Pyramidus radius matrix, um, setting up for that, and even before then, while we're working toward that and, and experiencing various aspects and integrating them. Because it is a quantum leap, there's no question about it. And we're being forced now to see that, forced by our own, um, inability to uh, have received it sooner. We're being forced by the circumstances on the planet at this time. The volatile, violent, uh, exploitive, controlling circumstances that have been with us for some time, but now they're just right up in our face and everything is coming to a heated boil. And we it seems like this is the end, this is the end, but really it's only the end of the chains that bind us and as this all comes tumbling down as a house of cards we will find ourselves faced with the door opening to our new singularity and Thoth expresses the singularity statement as being a single purpose a single point of reference uh, this is not limiting this is not confining but it is quantumizing because when you have that single point of light, it is indivisible, it is infinite, it is eternal, and you are able to experience it in a way that allows you to become omnipotent. That term is an awfully big term, and I'm not saying that even in the new earth star, souls are all begun, going to be omnipotent in the sense of godly, you know, completely know, all knowing and everything and totally merged with God. No, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. And maybe I shouldn't even say unfortunately, because everything is good and beautiful. I'm using the term omnipotent to describe the comparison between where we are now and where we are going. We will have more of an omnipotent presence. We will have more of a, of an ability to uh, encompass dimensional consciousness than we do now. And it is, will be so much more that it will be a singular event. And it will hold that singularity as the one primal focus for our entire existence. So that's what Thoth is meaning by the true singularity. 
So that's why I don't think the series is over in just three parts, because um, I have a feeling it's going to be more and more. <laughs> so we'll, we shall see. I really can't say it this time. In any case, I cre I'm creating this series for exclusively for Kira Portal members. And I wanted all of you, though, to understand where I'm going with it so that you might be interested in uh, pursuing it along with me by becoming portal members. Hey, yes, I'll admit it. I would like to have more portal members because that is what is the only real way that in a few sessions here and there that supports my work and supports me so that I can have a roof over my head to do my work. I have dedicated my life to this service and with my health concerns at this late date in my life, I just had my 68th birthday, I am dependent on certain means of support. And those means right now are basically my, my subscription portal and, and some, some sessions. So yes, I'd like some more portal members, but I'd also like to share this series and everything else I have in my portal. And if it was up to me, hey, I just put it all out there. No subscriptions, nothing. That's really what I'd like to do. But I'm trying to strike an even balance here because we still are in a system that requires payment for sustainable living. <laughs> And so, uh, and given the fact that I don't know which way my social security is going to go in the next minute, um, I'm especially keen on that. So yeah, this is a little bit of an advertisement, I will admit it. But I also want to share with all of you this key understanding about the singularity, even if you don't want to become a portal member or anything like that, just to understand what this really, what Thoth is really speaking about when he's saying the true singularity. And he wants to open this door as a path in this series to explore it, to explore where we are now, where we're going with all of it. And the first episode um, has to do with the Adam Kadmon, the, the template for human design. I'm not talking about, you know, um, the uh, Anunnaki stuff or all of that. When I speak of human design, I'm speaking of divine, spiritual human design. And that is the, that is the Adam Kanmon template. So I read a little bit in my past issues about it and I discuss it, commentary, you know, go back and forth on that and um, bring in some new information as well. That's the first episode. The second talks more about this whole heliotropic, the heliotrope sheath. I've done a video on that, but this goes in a little more detail, understanding what uh, Thoth means by the, um, the critical rotational positions, the CRPs of the human brain on the brain stem, and how important that is right now for what we're going through and what this heliotrope sheath is, is here for to help us along to achieve the proper critical rotational positions um, so that we can be prepared to receive the stimuli, the new stimuli that is coming through the portals. So that's what the second one is on. And the third one, I just kind of open up to uh, how it all fits together. It almost seems like a conclusion, but I think it's just a bringing together of episode one and two, understanding how it fits together and where we're going with that, the importance of all of it. So actually, <laughs> I think three is where I go into the CPR, the, the CPR, <laughs> the critical rotational positions, C, R, P. On the second episode, I think I am talking, ah, yes, the second episode talks about the Adonai Kadesh and its relationship to the sacred on. And um, I know that sounds, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, that doesn't mean anything to you, but, but it, it, it is an important part of the whole picture. Um, 
and why I'm here in Creston. So anyway, with all three, those are the topics you get in one form or another. And I think I'm going to be doing some more, but I'm not sure on this particular uh, series. So I guess that's all I have to say here. And um, I hope perhaps at least I've given you a little food for thought.